today I ran into an issue inside of Cura where I imported an STL that I created in Blender. And uh, you can clearly see that the geometry looks pretty good, nice and clean, uh, has a hole in it. And that's kind of where the problem is. So um, if we were to go ahead and slice this, you'll see that in fact, there is no hole there. Uh, there are some floors. So if we hit preview, and we kind of scrub through, you can see that yellow, the floors are there. In fact, there's not just one, there's many, and it's just bad geometry somehow, right? So you might think, well, okay, it's probably not watertight, or there's some kind of errors with the thing. So we can go up to extensions, mesh tools, and even check the model. And sure enough, it is watertight. And we could go as far as to go back to extensions and mesh tools and, uh, you know, uh, fix simple holes. That I did that, that didn't fix it. Uh, fix model normals that didn't fix it. So there's just something kind of underlying wrong with this particular model and uh, we need to go back into Blender and fix it. So let's pop over to Blender and here's our model. So um, actually uh, it's this rounded bracket with the word Soval in it. I'm going to turn off the text for now so we can just kind of check the geometry. So um, you can see clearly it does have that hole in it. Um, it's the same piece. So if I was just to go to file and export as uh, STL, well, that's what we had. And, and um, that clearly didn't work. So what's the fix? So, so the fix is this panel that I have open here, this 3D print panel. So if you come over here, uh, we can do some checking and uh, we can uh, maybe do some fixing here and then export. So um, if we do a check, for uh, it to be a solid, it'll come up and give us some information here. Uh, Non-manifold edges zero, good, okay. Intersections, gonna let it check that. But uh, now that we know that we did have some issues, we're gonna go ahead and go to cleanup. And we're gonna say, you know what, just make this manifold anyway. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna pop open the export panel and we're gonna say export this. And as soon as it's done, we're gonna pop back over to Cura. We're going to go and delete that one, open up the new one. And let's just go ahead for the sake of viewing. We're going to rotate it just the same that we did the other one. We're going to just pop it back 90 degrees, let it drop to the floor. And otherwise, it looks the same, right? So um, let's go ahead and just give this a quick slice and see what happens. All right, hit preview. And wow, there we go. Okay, so uh, we have that same, basically same geometry, same file, and now it goes ahead and uh, it slices it for us nice and clean. It has the hole in it that we want and we're ready to go. So just that simple fix of being able to go back in here to Blender and um, doing some checks, doing some cleanup, and then making sure that we use the 3D print tabs export for STL, which, generally speaking, uh, makes it a little bit more clean of an STL export. So just doing that seemed to bring it back into Cura just fine. So I hope that you uh, enjoy this tip today and that uh, it helps you with some of the things that you create inside of uh, Blender to bring them in cleanly into Cura and get them printed nice. Uh, please let us know if you have any other questions. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell so that you get notified of any of these new tips and videos that we come up with. Thanks a lot.